So I was talking to Alina about Hurricane Sandy and the after effects of it, and she told me about this story where a couple went to walk their dog during the hurricane, and the couple died, or two people, fucking whatever. But it's like, what the fuck makes you think it's smart to do that? Like, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with people? But anyways, hey guys, well, we got a match here today against uh, PokeMMD, 4th Gen OU. Probably most of you already seen this match, but if you haven't, um, yeah, it's a match. Uh, using that one team with Metagross and all the other thingies, so... Now we just gotta wait for the team preview to go away, and then we can, uh, get on to the match, because Joey's team is unimportant because it's 4th Gen! But you guys should possibly know my team by now if you've already watched my other matches with this team. But anyways, let's get into it. So, he's gonna lead, well, first of all, I lead off Metagross, obviously. He's gonna lead off with T-Tar. I'm figuring it's either Scarfed or Banded, because that's mainly what people run in T-Tar in this gen. And lead Scarfed-Tar wouldn't be a bad idea, but lead banded -tar would be more quote-unquote standard, I guess. But, uh, no, he's probably gonna want to switch out, or no, he won't do too much to me. So, I'm just gonna go for Rocks. As he switches out to Fortress, knowing that I probably would either go for Earthquake or... You know, anything really Fortress can take on, but I'm gonna switch out to Rotom as he goes for Stealth Rocks. Big deal, whatever. Uh, gonna go for Will O Wisp with Rotom because I know he's gonna want to switch out. He goes into a Shaman. I'm like, okay. Um, here, I'm gonna kind of figure he may not want to stay in and maybe he might go out to T Tar or maybe he'll go for like Leech Seed or Sub or something. Basically, I'm thinking Flygon should be able to take on his uh, Shaman well enough. But he does switch out to T-Tar, which is pretty cool, because now I will force him out with the prospect of hitting him with an Earthquake, and I know he won't want to take it, so I'm just going to go for U-Turn, knowing he'll want to switch out. He goes into a Suicune, which means I can go into Rotom and try and Thunderbolt him, but I'm not actually going to Thunderbolt him, because I know for a fact he will want to switch out, even though, you know, it's early in the game, you don't really want to predict too much, but at the same time, I, I, I like to be risky, so I do just go for the Will-O-Wisp, predicting a switch out. He goes into Shaman, I could have just gone for Shadow Ball, but... It, I'd like the fact that I could hit anything, potentially, if he's predicting me to go for Shadow Ball, so... Yeah, just went for will o -Wisp. but Shaman comes back in. I uh, don't really want to stay in, because it is a Shaman, after all, but I'm going to go out to my Scizor, thinking, okay, he'll probably just Leech Seed or Seed Flare here, so I can go into that, possibly scare him out, and, uh, go from there. But here, I was thinking he might just predict my Bullet Punch and want to switch out, not wanting to take that hit, but he does just stay in, safely go for the HP Fire, as I try and go for U-Turn, which... It was stupid of me, I should have just gone straight for Bullet Punch and the Shaman would have been a lot less of a bother, but I'm fucking stupid, so that's where that goes. But, uh, now I figure, okay, I can go into Infernape and scare him out this time, right? Let's try and scare him out this time and go for Nasty Plot, making him fear me being, you know, an Infernape. <laughs> but he does stay in and go for Seed Flare, thinking, hey, I'm just gonna sack Shaman, which I should have just killed off the fucking Shaman there. Would have been, would have made my job a lot easier working around his team, but... You know, shit goes the way it goes. But I try and go for Fire Blast here. He protects up, which is like, God damn it, Joey, stop doing this. I don't like you. But, uh, yeah. Now, I think I just go for Grass Knot, because I figure it should be able to take him out. And he go tries to go for the Double Protect, and Grass Knot doesn't take him out, but luckily Sandstorm will take him out. So, because he went for that Double Protect, he kind of killed a Shaman. So, it kind of works for me, because now I get to hit something else. But he brings in T-Tar, hoping I don't have a Vacuum Wave, but he wasn't exactly sure, so he's going to go to his Fortress to kind of... Scout dash die. I do have the vacuum wave because this is what I like to run on my nasty plot ape. Does it fuckload though to the fortress, but not fortunately able enough to take him out. So, uh, that sucks, but I at least lowered his health well enough so that I should be able to go and fly down and force him out with the earthquake. Don't really know what else he has, so I figure earthquake should be safe. But he does have a Zapdos, which is like, oh well, I have a couple things to take it on. But I figure here he's either gonna go for toxic or he's gonna go for the, uh, Heat Wave, I know he's probably not going to go for Thunderbolt just yet, so, plus the fact that I have Rotom, so he wouldn't really want to do that, but going to Starmie, because, again, I figured he wouldn't just go straight for Thunderbolt, if he did, oh fucking well, but uh, he goes for Heat Wave, gets a burn on me, which kind of sucks, just because of the fact that it's a burn, it's going to residual damage stuff, but just going to go straight for Surf, because that's I have Thunderbolt and Surf as my attacking move, so I might as well just hit him with the Surf. And T-Tar does not appreciate that at all, so I'm thinking maybe he might be banded, but I kind of doubt it, but at the same time, there's that 50-50 predict right here, so I took the risk of him going for Pursuit, but he just goes for Crunch to take me out. So, that's how it goes. I think he would have just taken me out with Pursuit anyways, but, you know, whatever. But now, I'm gonna go into Flygon and just hit him with a U-turn to try and, you know, take him out, because T-Tar's at that range where it should, but he's gonna go to Fortress's Death Fodder, that's just fine by me. 
So I'm going to switch out to Metagross, and I figure, okay, he's at so low where, seeing as how much that U-turn did, I should be able to take him out with the Meteor Mash, possibly get an attack boost, which is the main goal of trying to go for Meteor Mash there, but didn't so well. But now he's going to go into Suicune, and I figured here he'd either predict one of two things. One, me going for Explosion and switching out to T-Tar, or two, predict me to go to Rotom and switching out to T-Tar, but he does just decide to stay in, go for uh, Calm Mind, which does suck. Because now he's all calm lining up. And here I should have stayed in with Metagross. But I was like, okay, I should be able to take a hit with Rotom. And then him with the Thunderbolt and hopefully take him out. But he scores a crit on me, which did really fucking matter. Because that means I can't get extra damage on this uh, Suicune. And which means I didn't have a chance to possibly, you know, take him out. Because I did actually have a small chance to take him out. But, you know, it's as she goes. But uh, getting on to Flygon now and... A also, if I didn't get that Thunderbolt damage off, I could have just, like, U-turned or something. I didn't have to lock myself in Outrage right there, but, uh... Yeah, just go for Outrage. He just, uh, just decides to go for Surf, because he does not have Sleep Talk on this set, so... He's just like, fuck it, I don't feel like stalling, so... At least I get to take out the Suicune, right? But now he's getting go out into Lucario, and I'm like, shit. Well, I'm just gonna go to Metagross. Hopefully I can maybe take a hit, or maybe he'll try and set up, and then I can try and heal kill him, but... He goes for straight for the close combat, because that would take out Flygon also... But, uh, yeah, close combat, it hits me, and it does a lot, and, yeah. But he decided to switch out to T-Tar just in case, like, I really don't even know what he was thinking, but I guess he just randomly decided to sack T-Tar, but, uh, you know, that's the end of T-Tar at the very least. But now he's gonna go into Zapdos, and, uh, I just go for Earthquake right here, because I was hoping he would just go for Roost, but he just goes for Heat Wave to try and take me out, because he wants me dead. He just wants to finish the game, he doesn't want to fucking zell out. But now he's gonna go for Thunderbolt, and since Zapdos is pretty fucking powerful, it will easily take out Metagross, so that kind of sucks, but oh well. But now I'm going to go into Flygon, because that's all I have left, and now I have to lock myself in Outrage, which should be able to take out the Zapdos, but then he has a Lucario left, which he told me was an agility set, so it didn't have extreme speed, so I still have a chance of actually hitting him and killing him, as long as I get a revenge crit, so it all rides on me getting a revenge kit crit right here. Because I deserve a revenge crit, because that's what the meaning of revenge crit is. But I unfortunately do not crit him, so that means he gets to live and take me out with a close combat. So that'll be the match. So GG Joey, fucking crits. That's how the game is, though. It's very unforgiving, but, you know, it was a fun match. And, uh, you know, I could have made a couple plays better, but that's how it goes. So, you know, whatever. Still fun. Still stupid fucking crits. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such blah. I have nothing more to say. So, yeah. Recommend sub and later guys.